going to be checking out guessing what these US East Coast words mean. This is going to be a fun video to get into and guess these words myself and see if I can get them right and stuff. So yeah, let's jump straight to this and check this out, man. Grinder could just mean... Oh, some someone who who's a grafter. You I know, use grinder. A grafter, somebody who works really hard. You know, like me on these. I mean, you do most of the work, but me, I'm a grinder because I. Yeah, I think grinders caught on to a lot of people now because I definitely use it. I say like, oh, I'm grinding YouTube, I'm grinding Twitch. I'm like, you know what I mean? Just putting so many hours of work doing this channel. Yeah. Hello, I'm Lawrence. I would if I use quite a few of these words. Cover all of the memos that Britain and America lost in the pond, and one of those memos pertains words. to words. Recently on this channel, I resurrected an old idea I had for a video series way back at the start of my channel, and that idea involved me guessing the meaning behind certain words and phrases from different regions of the United States. Right. And after really enjoying the video in which I did that very thing for the southern United States, I thought today would be a good time to turn my attention to the East coast east coast so just like last time my team came up with a list of 15 15 words that can be found in various regions of the east coast and today i a decidedly british person living in america's midwest i'm going to utilize my formidable guessing powers <laughs> to have a stab at working out the definition you know what this is going to be really fun this is actually going to be fun i'm going to try and guess it myself as well I've said words right so the first one up is boge but Bo i'd say bodge Boge, bodge, bodge. I would say like bodge is like if it's if it's bodge, it's like get out of the way. You know what I mean? Like bodge, like move. Or bogue. That's or, what I would say. I don't know how you say this. Bodge. I've never heard of it, which is weird. Yeah, because same. With a lot of these words, I will have seen them while doing research for this channel. Boge or bogue or bogey is not one of those. Yeah, bodge out of the way, I man. I have no idea what it could possibly mean. It's maybe it's a type of clothing of some kind. You know, uh, the East Coast, Maybe. just like here, does get a lot of snow. I'm thinking in terms of winter, you put on your bogue <laughs> to stay warm from the snow. I mean, it at least rhymes, so there is some, you know... I'm pretty sure that's bodge, this. right? I think Surely. it's a piece of clothing. Let's take a look. Just as before, these words have come from a listicle website, so they do have the definitions. A boge or bogue, is, it's, a, it's a cigarette. It just means ah. a cigarette. An example, can you spare a boge for me? And, you know, do ah. let me know in the comments below if I am saying it right. What? Bob. Bub. Wait, isn't that what's up, bub? Like, bub like. Babe. Is bub like babe? I'm, say, I'm saying it's like babe. What's no, up, bub? No, rhymes with pub. You know, my brain always goes there. It wants to find a rhyme, rhyme or reason as to why these words exist. And for some reason, I went straight to pub as if this is some sort of no. alternative name. Bub has to be babe. Like, how you doing, bub? For that. Or is that a UK thing? It doesn't usually work out that way. That's I've heard it I before. Am finding. So bub could be, I don't know, bob. All right, bob. Maybe it's another name for bob. I don't know. Yeah, maybe that's how East Coasters pronounce it. Uh, so I don't think it's that. With. Now then, Bob. It doesn't really seem to fit in with what I know about I'm sure how it's babe. East Coasters pronounce words. Apparently, Bob is more main slang. Uh, it's basically the main equivalent of dude. You can use it as a kind of friendly term to refer to just about any guy. How's ah. it going, Bob? Bob? Wait, I'm kind on like similar tracks here. Like, yo, how's it going, Bob? But I was thinking more like a babe kind of way. Like, how's it going, Bob? Whereas in America, it's more of like you say it to a mate, like a, a dude. Interesting. Interesting. I'm kind of, I'm, I was kind of on it. Kind of. Bubbler. Bubbler. I, I'm very familiar with this word because bubbler, bubbler is in fact used. Bubbler. Like bubbly. Like something's bubbly. So like bubbler. You're excited. Used just north of me in Wisconsin or parts of Wisconsin to mean drinking fountain. And I think the reason that I found that out to begin with was taking one of those US dialect quizzes. And in that, I remember in the East Coast, oh, bubbler where bubbler like was used in the exact same sense. And I think it does in fact mean water fountain. Let's take a look. A bubbler is what right. you might call a water fountain in New England states. That has However, bubbles. This is also a slang word for water fountain in Wisconsin. I know my stuff <laughs> if the right word happens to come up and I've read about it before. So far, I'd say I've got half a point <laughs> with bub creamy um um i 
feel like this is a trick question, right? Because creamy would be like, it's very creamy. Do you know what I mean? Or like put cream on me. Which I noticed isn't spelled the same way that something that is labeled yeah. with cream would be spelled. So I'm assuming it doesn't creamy. mean that. That would also just be the obvious choice. Put cream on creamy, me. Creamy, it still suggests that, you know, it's describing something. I'm Wait, is it creamy in like a sexy way? Like creamy, like she's cream. We'll leave it at that. Just picturing somebody we'll in New York or Boston or somebody with a thick accent out east saying it and, and trying to picture just how it could be used and what the mood would be behind it. Something is, uh, it's creamy. Uh, do you want a creamy coffee? That would you still want creamy coffee? Creaminess. So I don't think it's to do with that. Again, it's not if, spelled that if way all though. else fails, I just default to clothes. So uh, <laughs> it's a thing. It's a noun. It's a creamy. You wear it. It's a type of hat. You wear a creamy on your head. Ooh, that sounds dirty. Let me take a look. Let's just see what comes <laughs> up. It is a noun. This is a slang term from Vermont specifically, apparently. Vermont. Uh, that just means soft serve ice cream. So really, oh. I mean, it was within that realm, I suppose, oh. of creaminess. So an example, let's get some creamies after the movie. Oh, that makes sense. Gr Gr see, okay, I know this. Grinder. I'm a grinder. I grind YouTube. You work hard at some form. Easy. Everyone uses this. Grinder? Is that not just another word for blender or something of that ilk? It can't be because they never are these words. Grinder could just mean, oh, some someone who who's a grafter. You know, it's another word for grafter. Someone yeah. who works really hard. You know, like me on these. I mean, you do most of the work, but me, <laughs> I'm a grinder because I just put in so many hours of work doing this channel. True. That's got to be it. Let's have a look at the actual meaning here. Grinder is Boston slang. It's a word that is often used to describe a sub sandwich. Uh it's like America cannot make its mind up on what to call that. Grinder is an American sub sandwich. What do you guys in America not say grinder for like that you would grind for something like you're a grinder on YouTube or you're a grinder for your work? Hoagie. Hoagie. Is it like a baby hot dog? Case in point. Hoagie is another word that Americans use for a sub sandwich, but specifically in Pennsylvania. And I only know this because uh, I visited Pennsylvania last year. Did I mention that? I was yeah, kind of there. If, if you've not seen the video, you should check it out. So uh, let's just confirm it's like a now sub that this means the same thing as grinder. This slang is more specific to right. Pennsylvania. Sub sandwich, small hot dog, similar. John. 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 This is John. This is your John. I feel like it's like a word for like boring. If this isn't a portmanteau, I don't know what it is. It has to be. It, it sounds like it's taking the word yawn and then merging it with a J word of some kind. Is it, and this, is, this would be very niche, is it when you jump and yawn at the same time? <laughs> Has anyone ever done that? Is that even possible? Yo, there's no I way. There's certain things that are, it's impossible to there's do. There's no like way. And yawn at the same time. Jawn. That can't be the definition. That it's got to be stupid. another word for boring. Or is it one of those things where two words have been abbreviated? There's usually, though, an apostrophe to indicate that. Does it mean something like, do you want to? Do you want to? Jawn. That's, that is a Joanna. stretch, isn't it? Let's look it up. A noun. This is a very generalized slang word used in Philly to describe any object, person, or place. It's kind of like saying thing when you can't remember huh? what something is called. So I'm like, yo, let's react to this thing. But you guys would be like, yo, let's react to this John. Interesting. So again, it's kind of like thingamajig. Nasty. Wait, how could this mean anything else? Nasty is like, that's disgusting or like... That's gross. Or, an, or the actual meaning is like you're nasty, you're mean, right? But since we're going like more like slang words, I'm going to say nasty is like, that's disgusting, horrible. That's nasty. Which is a universal word in the English language. Yeah, but that, no, that's the same. Just that, nasty is just nasty, bro. What else means nasty? I'm guessing it's not the normal meaning of nasty it probably means the opposite in fact because that often happens so nasty could mean oh it's really nice oh he's thinking along the lines of like okay so like you'll be like yo that's cold that's fire that's heat do you know what i mean <laughs> so like he's thinking opposite but i've never heard anyone say 
Yo, that's nasty. As an oh wait, I have actually. Man, we're so confused, aren't we? Someone could be like, yo, that's nasty, bro. And like, they could mean it's horrible or it's nice, depending how they're saying it. If I'm like, oh, that's nasty, bro. It's like, that's horrible. If I'm like, yo, that's nasty, bro. It's like, that's nice, you know what I mean? Because I think the word <laughs> nice used to mean nasty, didn't it? Or at least it had a Wait, negative did it? connotation. Maybe East Coasters have done something similar with the word nasty. It is, that it is. Be wild it's nice. The mark. So nasty is an adjective. This sounds like a bad thing, but it's actually good. Right. It means you're really good at something. So I was close. Right. I was close. So an example would be, he says that he's nasty in the kitchen, but I know that he's... Man, I should have known that from like literally the start. I use that word. I've said that. I've said nasty before, like in a good way. Cooking is actually musty. Nasty and grind, I've said. What does musty mean? Pie. I know what this is. I know what this is. And that's because I watch American videos. It means pizza. Pie. It almost seems like for a lot of these words, East Coasters have taken existing words and just given them a twist. <laughs> uh, pie pizza. could mean a lot of things. I mean, it could be dirty. I've heard that, that connotation too. Suspect it's not that because you wouldn't have put this in the list if that was the case. I don't know. I'm thinking a noun. Again, it's clothing. Pie is a type of scarf. What? Wearing a pie around your neck and cream on your face. I've really created quite the image for a lot of you, haven't I? I don't know what pie is. Pie, a common East Coast slang for pizza. Of course it is. There's the song, isn't there? Yo, you know what? I'm actually proud of that because he lives in America, right? And I don't. And I actually got that. So like, you know what? Pat my back. Well done. Congrats, man. <laughs> you know, when the moon hits my eye like a great pizza pie, those aren't the lyrics, but it was close enough. It works. It works. Ponch. Ponch. So you got like poncho. So like ponch. I'd, I'd say it's like a piece of clothing that goes over like your neck and stuff. Like a ponch. Put a ponch on. I don't know what type of clothing, but something that goes over your shoulders. 100%. Is that anything to do with poncho? Again, I'm defaulting to clothes, but you can see why I would do that here. Ponch, ponch. Sounds ponch. like it. I don't know why, but it well, that's sounds like slang. For wait, wait, wait. That's ponch. Like, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm changing it. It's not going to be poncho. I'm changing it to like, that's cool. Feel like to ponch something. I'm going with that. I'm going with ponch means theft. It just means to steal something. That's my best guess. Ponch, noun, a small beer belly. Oh, huh? right, like a paunch. I think we'd say paunch. What? P-A-U-N-C-H. Well, like a paunch. She like has a... a bit of a paunch, but she's still cute. Not my word. Oh. <laughs> Slipping. Okay, okay. Okay, I know this. I know this, 100%. This is like... If you're caught slipping, so like, oh wait, how would I actually describe it? It's like, for example, you, it's like caught lacking. So like, you've been caught slipping, you're out of place, right? I think that's a good description. Like, you're out of place. So like, if I'm caught slipping, I, I, for example, if I like stream one day and I forget to wear my clothes, I'm technically caught slipping. Do you know what I mean? Because I didn't mean to do it. I'm caught out of place. Boom, exposed. <laughs> but it, it's that, 100%. Outer G, you're, the standard... I've heard it loads. Slipping is, could mean that. That's not my opinion. It was just a joke. But I don't know what the word slipping would mean, other than, of course, I'm slipping over. Suspect it's not that again. I think this one means to get... You know what? I feel like I actually know more American words than he does, and he lives in America. I'm, you know what? I'm actually proud of myself. Drunk. We were slipping at the bar. Sounds like slurping. So you can slurp a drink and also get drunk and therefore slip over because you're more clumsy and your cognitive nah. abilities aren't what they were an hour before you started drinking. You've been I've caught no slipping. What this is. So I'm going to take a look. Slipping. So apparently on the East Coast, slipping is a verb meaning when you're not focusing or paying enough attention to something. Huh? Well, you're not focusing, paying attention. Bro, my... Listen, America's coming right now. I'm right with that one, right? I think that was just like a more like... Like a different description. But like, it's kind of the same thing. You're not paying attention to something. Like you're exposed, right? Yo, I've heard slipping before from America. So like... M bro, I know what it is. 
That is surely right. Comment down below. Comment down below if I'm right. And that was just like a different description. Meaning when you're not focusing or paying enough attention. Yeah, like something. you caught slipping. All right, next up, Spocky. Spocky? Huh? Spocky. I feel like Spocky is like... Do you want a spooky? Like a cake kind of thing. <laughs> it's just a funny word. I can't not laugh at that. Uh, I hope it doesn't have a really serious definition. Well, I mean, it sounds like somebody who's kind of full of energy. They're quite spocky. They're quite spry. My cat I think is a cake. spocky. Gosh, I hope this doesn't mean something terrible. So <laughs> spocky, I think, means energetic. Spocky is a noun. If you're in Boston, you may occasionally hear this term instead of sub or grinder it's another type of sub oh smoky is like a sandwich i can see it i can see it's it wild how many there are i just don't think i couldn't eat something that's called a spocky it just sounds like i would get poisoned. you know what i was on the right lines of like food poisoned. tonic all right so in the uk we have like tonic water but i would say tonic is like kind of like explosive so like your tonic do you know what i mean like you're kind of explosive you're kind of out there like whoa tonic i know this one and again it goes back to that dialect quiz right one of the things that came up in that dialect quiz was the sort of regional differences as to how americans say pop or soda or oh. coke as they do in the south and it is a drink was something that came up in the sort of boston area i think again it just meant the same thing it was just a way of saying fizzy drink so oh pop. oh so our way yeah in the uk we have tonic water and it's like fizzy water Ah, oh, so, oh yeah, we use that word. Bro, I was trying to think too, like, I, I was trying to think it's not going to be a UK word. Somewhere that we say the UK because, you know what I mean? It's in this video. <laughs> so let's see, a noun. You might hear older people in New England using this one. So it's possibly one that's on the way out. And older people in the UK. My grandma always orders tonic water. Always. <laughs> tonic refers to just about any carbonated beverage, including seltzer water and soda what what's popping bro of course i know this like what's up what's up what's popping easy apparently the letter g is popping out of existence <laughs> unless you order a grinder what's popping what's I mean, popping sounds pretty straightforward i'm guessing it just means what's, what's up? going on what's yeah up? you know there are, it seems like there are a thousand ways of asking that question between Britain and America. Maybe that's worth a video just on its own, but I'm guessing that's what it means. What's, what's poppin'? Poppin', an expression, an older slang expression that basically just means, what's up? You can also right. use it to ask how someone is doing. Well, isn't that the purpose of what's up? Or have Americans <laughs> genuinely been asking me this whole time, what's above me? That'd be strange. And wicked, this is the last yeah, that's sick, that's wicked. Bro, I, I knew these words, man. I'm telling you right now, from like watching these videos, I swear I'm like, I'm like 50% American, bro. I, I, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. What? I need to move wicked, there. Which is the name of a Wizard of Oz inspired musical, but also... That's wicked. That's cool. That's sick. I think just like with the word nasty in Boston, and I think in the East Coast has the kind of opposite meaning to what we think of as something being wicked. I think it just means that it's good, right? It's yep. A, a kind of adjective to mean yep. that something is, wow, that's great, it's cool, it's amazing. Maybe it's, I'm not being specific enough, but that's sort of how I've always interpreted it. That something's wicked good. Wicked good. Did I do that? That was terrible. Wasn't it? Wicked bad. Ah, no, I've been misunderstanding this huh? whole time. It's more of an intensifier that you would sort of stick the for a word. Kind of like what we do with bloody. That's bloody great, right? That's wicked great? Nah, you don't say that. In England, wicked good is it's just really good that's it no i re no i refuse to believe that bro there's no way yo let me know down below in the comment section if you guys say that's wicked good that's no no no. I i've heard america say that's wicked bro what the yo there's no way bro there's no way i've never heard that i've never heard americans go oh that that's wicked that's wicked good dude I've never heard that. But yeah, really good video. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Enjoy that a lot. Hopefully you guys did as well. If you did, make sure you thumbs up, subscribe for more content. I'm also live every single day on twitch.tv forward slash L3WG. If you guys want to head over there, talk to me live, get me to react to things live, make sure you go do that. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.